Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over an, an another example. So this time it might look a bit strange and curvy, but I tr uh, trust me when I say this is probably going to be the easiest example so far, as long as you understand your concepts, all right? So this time we have uh, two fixed supports at A and C, and then a pin at B, all right? So um, just going over the old videos, you should know this by now, but let's just first off start with identifying which reactions we need to solve for. So that's A, Y, A, X, C, Y, and then C, X, all right? We're just assuming that upwards and positive, uh, to the right is positive, you can assume it any other way, okay? So once we have that, we, we have three equations for variables right now, we can't really solve that, right? So uh, what we need to do is we need to split the system up, right? So I've gone ahead and just redrawn this same, same beam, just split up, all right? So once again, we're solving for a y a x and then CY, and then CX, all right? And when you're splitting up the hinge, what do you need to do? You need to assign the uh, the reactions at that point, right? So this is BY, and then BX, in no particular order, but has to be equal and opposite, all right? BY, and then BX. So once we have the problem set up, it's actually uh, just the same thing we've been doing all this time, okay? So let's just first find uh, B, Y, and B, X. We can start off that way, right? So we can just do a sum of moments around point A, right? Counterclockwise equals positive and set that equal to zero. So from our distributed load, uh, distributed load we have six kilonewtons per meters times 150 times 75. So that's 150 divided by two. Again, just imagine you're pl pl uh, pl replacing the entire uh, distributed load with a point load, all right? You're applying it at the middle. That's going straight up and down, okay? So that, and then, um, which, which way is this going? This is going negative because it wants to spin it clockwise, okay? Now, BY, BY is, uh, wants to spin the system counterclockwise, so plus BY, times 150, and that's the perpendicular distance, all right? And then don't forget your BX, so this would be, um, wants to spin it counterclockwise, BX, so BX times, what's the vertical distance? So perpendicular distance is 75 meters, coming from here, okay? So, then that equals to zero, all right? So we can simplify this, right? We can say that 150 by minus 75 bx equals to six times 150 times 75, which gives you uh, 67,500. And then we can simplify this even more, divide everything by 75. Uh, so that would equal um, bx, this is negative, uh, 900 and then 2by, okay. So that's your first equation. And um, we don't have enough to solve this right now, but we can move to the other side, all right? We can take a sum of moments around point C and do the exact same thing, all right? So let's just go. So uh, first thing is by, all right? It wants to spin it counterclockwise, so that's positive, positive by times 150. And then BX also wants to spin it clockwise, I mean counterclockwise, sorry. So that's 75 times BX, and then that's all of the forces there. So we set that equal to zero. And um, we can just say that 2BY plus BX equals zero. All right, and those are your two equations. So. Solving for this system of equations, so we have 2by minus bx equals 900. You could to use substitution, but I'm just gonna add them together and then the bx will cancel out, all right? So if you just add them together, you get 4by, bx cancels out, and then you get 900, all right? So divide by four would give you 225, and that is your by value, okay? 
So once you have this by value, the rest of the problem is really simple because we can solve from for cy and uh, bx and cx and all the reactions. All right. So let's just first solve for the remaining reaction. All right. So if by equals 225, we can plug that into, uh, let's say, the second equation. Right. So 2 times 225 equals um, negative bx. And then that would equal bx equals to negative 450. OK, so that's your second second intermediate uh, reaction that you need to solve for. So once we have that, we can just solve for uh, let's just go with CY and CX because they're, uh, it looks like to me that they're equal and opposite, all right? So sum of forces in the Y direction, upwards is positive, and then we have CY because it's going up, minus BY equals zero, all right? So that's CY equals BY, and then CY would then just equal 225. And then sum of forces in the X direction, so this time in horizontally, we have uh, to the right is CX minus BX equals zero, and then CX would equal the BX, which just equals negative 450, okay? So that's your CY and CX value, all right? So once we have that, uh, it is simply uh, just go to the other side, okay? Whoops, okay. So we are just going to look do the sum of forces again in the y direction, this time for segment AB. So from this to here, all right? So we are going to do, um, let's say, AY plus BY minus six times 150. So that's from the distributed load equals zero, okay? So AY plus BY equals, uh, Six times 150 is 900. Okay, so and then by, what was by again? By equals 225. So then 900 minus 225 would just equal 675 kilonewtons going upwards. Okay, and then Finally, 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 solving for AX, so sum of forces in the X direction equals zero. Just look at your sign convention and what you set as positive. So AX plus BX equals zero. And since BX is equal to negative and 450, that also, um, that just means that AX is, uh, uh, yeah, 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 sorry, we could just set that equals AX and then that's positive, right? Because BX is negative, negative 450, move that to the other side, and then you would get a positive value. Okay, so, so now that we have this, I mean, it's, it's good to do a logical check as well, right? So, excuse me. So, we have the reactions uh, in the x direction kind of pushing back like this, right? And then we have the uh, vertical reactions just going upwards 675 on this side and 225 on this side, right? Which makes sense because if you apply something here, a load here, chances are this reaction is going to be greater, this AY value, all right? so. Again, for this question, some things to keep in mind is don't get too focused on this curve, right? You might see that and go like, oh my god, it's a curve. We haven't done that before, right? But if you break every force down, every force down and every reaction down in just simply vertical, horizontal reactions, and same with the loads as well, right? you always just take the perpendicular distances to find moments, all right? That's, that's very important, all right? It's perpendicular to the force. If you have a force like this, 
yes, the perpendicular distance would be like this, or you can just break it up into here and here and consider it from here to here. Whatever, whatever your uh, textbook is, um, whatever the question, sorry, is asking you to kind of do or depending on which dimensions you have, uh, things might be easier. But in this case, in most cases, just split it up. All right. So I hope this video helped. And um, if it did, that's great. So this will probably be one of my last videos on the series. So please leave a comment below to see, um, to let me know if you need help with any other questions. But aside from that, that's all for, that is for this video. And uh, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Goodbye.